Hello, welcome back to I Am Movies. Some of us may have many tomorrows while others have only one present to live. If you have one day to live on this earth, how will you use it? The movie begins with a young and beautiful girl named Sammy, or Sam, who wakes up 24 minutes before her best friend comes to pick her up. She wakes up after getting a message from Lindsay and notices a cardinal bird on her bed. Sam gets ready and leaves her house, ignoring her parents and getting mad at her sister Izzy for messing with her stuff. She meets Lindsay, after which they pick up Elodie and Allie from their houses, and they all cheer Sam up as she plans to make out for the first time with her boyfriend Rob. The girls reach their school and watch the preparations for Cupid Day. When the girls discuss how many flowers they got last year, Allie gets sad about missing her boyfriend Matt, but her friends cheer her up by hugging her and stating how they helped her forget him. Sam is in her class when Preferred Daimler starts his lecture with a weird joke, but soon, a group of girls with roses interrupt the class. The girls distribute the flowers when Sam gets a simple note from Rob. She's confused about him when she gets another beautiful rose that describes her personality in the form of a beautiful poem. One of Sam's classmates, Anna, does not get any flowers, so she claims to be in heteronormative hell. After the class ends, Sam's old friend and classmate Kent approaches her with the flower she has forgotten and invites her to the party at his house, but Sam ignores him and walks away. She's with her friends when they notice Anna and laugh at her for how Anna's girlfriend broke up with her because of them. Suddenly, Rob interrupts and kisses Sam, asking her to be ready for the night. After he leaves, the girls notice Juliet passing by and make fun of her for her weird looks and the scary drawings she makes. After school ends, Sam spends the evening with her friends and prepares for the party at Kent's house. When Sam is alone with Lindsay, she questions her about her first experience. But Lindsay replies that she is too drunk to feel anything. Thus, she gives her advice, after which the girls reach the party. As they enter the house, Sam looks around for Rob until he bumps into her and spills the drink on her chest. Rob, being drunk, tries to get closer to Sam, but she pushes him away and rejoins her friends. Sam and her friends are having fun when they see Juliet at the party. Lindsay leaves to confront her, due to which Juliet taunts her for her parents' divorce and curses them for their unjust behavior. Lindsay and her friend create a drama, so Juliet is humiliated and leaves the party. Kent gets mad at Sam for making the mess at his party and tells her that her boyfriend is throwing up in his kitchen. Sam and her friends leave the party and are concerned about what happened at the party, but they brighten their mood by dancing to their favorite song. Lindsay asks for the time, and as Sam notices the clock turning to 1239, the girls get into a horrible accident where everything turns dark. Sam reopens her eyes in the bed and notices everything following the same pattern as yesterday. She ignores her, and when Lindsay comes to see her, Sam tells her that she had a weird dream last night. Lindsay and Sam pick up their friend, and Sam is worried about reliving the same day again. She attends her class with the same lecture and gets the flowers. After the class ends, Kent approaches her with the flower, when she realizes he sent her the one she liked. Kent asks her for the party at his house, but Sam does not understand anything and walks away. In the evening, she is with her friends when she informs Lindsay about her feelings about repeating the same day, but she thinks Sam is worried about what she has planned with Rob. The girls reach the party, and after Rob bumps into Sam, she tells him she is not feeling well, but he does not listen to her. Sam looks around her and realizes what she experienced yesterday was not a dream. She enters Kent's room where she notices her childhood pictures, but then Kent appears there and claims it's like deja vu to have her here. Sam lies about looking for a washroom and walks away. She rejoins her friends and notices all the drama they created with Juliet. They are on their way back home when Sam asks Lindsay to be careful about the road. And as the clock turns 1239, they get into the same accident again. Sam wakes up in bed, and when Izzy comes to get her out of bed, Sam tells her she is sick. Sam's mother comes to see her and asks her whether she has had a fight with Rob, but Sam does not tell her anything. Her mother leaves, telling her she will drop her off at school, but she needs to be at work by 10. After Sam gets some rest, her mother drops her off at her school, and before she leaves, she tells her that Sam is lucky to be so famous at school, as her college mates used to make fun of her and call her a fish because her eyes were close enough. Sam tells her mother she is the most beautiful one, and when she is on her way to class, Sam claims she can change everything. 
Sam is with her friends when she informs them that she is unhappy with Rob and reveals what he has written in Valagram. Lindsay helps her break up with him, and as Juliet passes by them, the girls make fun of her, but Sam asks them why they hate her. Lindsay replies that they don't hate her, but Allie and Elodie mention the incident in which Lindsay found her pee inside the sleeping bag on a Girl Scout trip. After she gets free from her friends, Ken approaches her with flowers, but this time, Sam's behavior changes with him. Sam invites her to his party, but Sam simply refuses to join it. Sam and her friends spent the night together, and they thank that they did not attend the party after learning that Juliet joined. Sam seems worried when the clock turns 1239 and feels happy after she learns nothing has happened. The girls then fall asleep, and after a while, they all wake up after hearing their phone tones. They are all stunned to learn that Juliet has committed suicide. Allie feels sorry for her family, but Lindsay acts rudely, which disappoints Allie and Elodie, so they leave to sleep in a separate room. After they have left, Sam questions Lindsay about why she did not mention being best friends with Juliet. Lindsay taunts her for being strange until the fifth grade and ignores her question. As Sam falls asleep, she opens her eyes on the same day. Sam does not understand anything and keeps repeating the same thing. Once she is so fed up that she decides to do and say whatever she wants, as it affects nothing in her life. Sam wears a bold dress to college and leaves, arguing with her parents. Sam is with her friends when she gets mad at Lindsay for always pretending. She does not care about anything and reveals how she backbites Allie and Elodie. Lindsay is infuriated at this and orders her to leave her car while Sam leaves, stating she will be happy to hear what she says behind her back. Sam walks to her school and is in her class when the girls give her flowers. Sam throws the flowers in the dustbin when Preferent Daimler proclaims she is breaking many hearts by doing this. Sam turns to him and questions whether she's breaking his heart too. Daimler feels uncomfortable and asks her to get back to her seat. As Sam returns, Kent sends her a letter stating that she is not like this. After the class ends, Sam encounters her friends, but they ask her to change her ways. Sam walks away and follows Juliet. She spots her making a creepy drawing and Sam steps away as Juliet looks at her. She enters a washroom and encounters Anna, who likes her shoes. After Sam switches shoes with her, Anna tells her that she knows Lindsay has written a made-up name on the walls of the washroom, but she adds that she is not sad as the college is just a blip, and once it is over, she will forget them all and win. At night, Sam enters the party wearing Anna's shoes, but Elodie approaches her, requesting to apologize to Lindsay for her behavior. When forced, Sam approaches Lindsay, and instead of apologizing, she tells her how mean she is and always hurts people. After Juliet arrives at the party, Sam leaves and makes love with Rob in a room. After she is done, Sam cries and hides in Kent's bedroom. When Kent approaches her, Sam apologizes for hiding in an off-limits room, but Kent tells her it's just to keep people from messing with his stuff. Kent then offers to drop her home, but Sam insists on staying with him at night. Sam lies on the bed while Kent sits beside her, looking at her face. Moments later, he gets a message on his phone, but Sam stops her from checking it, stating it is terrible news and Kent wishes to stop time. Sam falls asleep, and as she reopens her eyes, she finds herself back on the same day. But this time, she decides to make this day useful, not only for her but for everyone. She spends her time with Izzy and learns that kids make fun of how she talks, so she tells her to improve herself. Izzy gets permission and asks her why she does not allow mom to enter her room. Sam feels sorry and replies that once she was mad at mom and drew a line asking mom to stay out of it, but she never thought that mom would take it seriously. Sam takes her family out for dinner and as Izzy and her father leave to place orders, Sam questions her mother about whether she thinks she is a good human. Her mother replies that she is a good human and mentions that Sam used to ride all the horses in a stable so that none felt left out. Her mother guides her to let her good side show the path ahead. After the dinner, Sam wonders what else to improve, so she reaches the party and meets Kent in his bedroom. When asked about the party, Kent tells her that he arranged the party so that she could visit his house. Sam likes this and asks Kent why he cares for her so much. Kent mentions when his father died and the kids at school used to make fun of him, but she replied to them on his behalf and passed funny remarks to insult them. 
Kent discloses that this was the first time he laughed after his father died. The duo gets closer and kisses each other. Soon, Juliet arrives at the party, and Sam leaves to stop her from fighting with Lindsay and her friends. As Juliet leaves the party, Sam follows her and finds her standing in the woods. Sam apologizes to her for everything she has done with her and claims that she can fix her. Juliet reveals that Lindsay used to pee after her parents fought each other badly and blamed her for her mistakes. Juliet tells her she is beyond repair now, and despite being stopped, she steps in front of Lindsay's car, thus leading them to an accident. Sam is stunned to witness this and realizes Juliet is why they died. The next morning, Sam wakes up with clear thoughts, knowing what needs to happen today. She says goodbye to her parents lovingly and meets Izzy for the last time. She reunites with her friends, and after they sit in a place, Sam tells her friends individually that she loves them and explains why she does. After Sam reaches the school, she drops two valograms, one for Juliet and the other for Kent, as she has fallen in love with him. Sam is in her class when she gets flowers, and Kent is delighted to get a rose from Sam. After the class ends, Sam tells her he knows she has left the flower for him and invites her to the party. Sam accepts the invitation and leaves, saying she has a secret to tell him. Sam is then with her friends when Rob comes to see her, but Sam breaks up with him and makes him leave. After she is done with Rob, the girls look at Juliet, and as they make fun of her, Sam stops them. At night, Sam attends the party with her friends, and when she is left alone with Lindsay, Sam hugs her for hiding her parents' divorce and tells her that she does not need to act strong every time. Sam enters the party and meets Kent in a separate room. When asked about the secret, Sam asks Kent to kiss her immediately as she is running short on time. As Kent kisses her, Sam feels Juliet has arrived. Sam approaches her and stops her from doing what she has planned. Juliet gets scared and leaves the party while Sam follows her. Sam begs her to stop and says she is here to help her. Juliet replies that she cannot repair the damage Lindsay and her friends have done to her. Juliet notices a truck approaching, so she rushes in front of it, but before the truck hits her, Sam pushes her away and gets hit instead. Sam's soul is seen witnessing the incident, and she narrates that she has many good things to remember, as life is meant to be remembered for good. Juliet rushes to Sam, claiming she pushed to save her, but Sam claims Juliet saved her instead, and the movie ends as Sam walks away. Thank you for supporting my small channel. Please like and share this video to help this channel out. Thanks for watching, and see you at the next one.